I've been wanting to do this video and I just don't haven't known how or where to start it because it's not like a typical video or it's I mean I just need to jump in I in honor of Pride Month I wanted to share my personal experience and journey with gender and sexuality and this is not something I do often talking about this kind of stuff on camera so it's interesting and <laughs> I just haven't known where to start but I'm just gonna dive in um, I've always been a tomboy I don't even know if that's like the correct word but that's just I remember when I was very little knowing I wasn't like the other girls and in retrospect now that I'm diagnosed autistic I wonder how much of that was autistic girls are not like neurotypical girls but you know I remember you know going to my mom and I don't and she told me you know she was trying to comfort me and she's like it's okay you know you're you're just a tomboy and you know she told me a tomboy she's like I was a tomboy when I was your age too blah 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 and because I you know I like I, I didn't really like the dolls and the girly things and the girly clothes I liked climbing trees and playing with bugs and animals and skateboarding and rollerblading and all of that stuff and I just rather play with the little boys than the little girls. I didn't get along as well with the little girls. Um, girls are meaner. You know, I, a lot of my experiences with girls growing up were, you know, not good because they pick, girls tend to pick on each other. Girls can be really nasty to each other. And I just had a lot of trouble and didn't really enjoy a lot of that, like girl behavior. You know, and not all girls are like that. And thank goodness the people in my circle aren't like that now as an adult because I don't tolerate that. I'm like, get out of here with that. I don't got time for that. Um, but I just didn't really relate to the other girls. <laughs> I remember when I was little, like, my grandmother, like, I don't know, I think it was like, she was making a joke, but I don't think she realized how serious I would take it. And she told me if I licked my elbow, I, or kissed or licked my elbow, I could turn into a boy. I would turn into a boy. And so, like, alone in my room when nobody was looking, and I was like totally alone. I spent a, I was, okay, I was probably in like first or second grade, so give me some slack here. <laughs> I was like a little 47 pound me. Um, because I weighed the 47 pounds in first grade. I don't want, I don't know why I remember that. Um, I, I spent a lot of time trying to lick or kiss the bottom of my elbow because I just really didn't want to be a girl because I just didn't understand, you know, them at that age. And I just, I don't know. I didn't want to be a girl. I just really didn't want to be a girl. <laughs> um, yeah. And so that was, that was, you know, from a young age, I just, it was just some kind of disconnect. Uh, and things have changed as I've gotten older. I have a <clears throat> scratchy throat thing and I'm trying to make sure I speak up. My voice keeps going. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Um, and then, you know, as I got older, my mom, gosh, Dustin, it's okay. My mom has a hair salon. Uh, so I grew up in a hair salon around makeup and hair, and I quickly figured out, and I always liked hair and makeup, or makeup at least, because I used to draw animal and like art on my face, like face paint, theater makeup. Uh, my family's also very uh, artsy, theatery family I come from, and my grandpa's an architect. Uh, my mom's a hairstylist, like I said, and so, or a barber, stylist, sorry mom, because uh, my mom watches my videos sometimes. 
And so I grew up in the hair salon, and I learned really quickly that when I did my makeup, and especially since I, I started doing makeup earlier than some of the other girls, and then I knew how to do makeup, uh, this was like the magical key into girl world. And the girls were nicer to me when I had my makeup on, if I was showing them how to do makeup and hair things. Uh, so I, and I really capitalized on that. Hair, you know, it interested me a little less than makeup until I got into like bright colored hair dyes. And, oh my gosh, I need to dye my hair. This is supposed to be like hot pink and turquoise and purple under here. And it's like really faded. Um, kind of mess. So, I learned to girly up my appearance, you know, through like middle school and high school. And the bright colored hair wasn't really common back then when I was in school. We would do these things like I have now where you could hide it when you go to school because schools did not allow that. Um, so we did every, I did everything I could to get away with it because I just don't feel like myself when I don't have bright colored hair. It's like, it's really weird. Like, I really feel, I feel wrong when my hair is not a bright color. I tried to go back to my, my long natural hair for a while, and I just felt like it wasn't me, and I was dead inside, and I can't even explain it. My, I have to have, like, like, right now, I'm starting to feel like the energy is draining out of me as my hair dye drains away from me, and my hair dye fades, so I'm going to have to dye my hair soon. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. It's, it is, it, I realize, or I feel like that is the logical thing, but that is just how I feel about my hair not being a bright color. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I learned girl world, and I learned to do makeup, but still throughout high school, you know, I, I learned, I rather, I had, I enjoyed hanging out with the guys, and all my guy friends always was like, oh, and my nickname was Cat back then. Cat's just one of the guys. Cat's just like a girl, a guy in a dress, they would always say. And that was like, yeah, I'm just one of the guys. I am one of the guys because they treated me like one of the guys, you know. And even at work, you know, in certain jobs, you know, moving on to my mid to early 20s, I got along more with the guys, the night guys, and the guys in the office. Um, and you know, they're like, oh yeah, she's one of the guys. And they would talk to me in ways that they would never talk in front of the other female employees. And honestly, working in an office that was almost entirely female, dark, um, females was kind of weird for me and hey 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 we're not gonna do that right now we're not gonna do that right now go sit down come here um it was kind of weird and I don't know it just I don't know it was it was not not I don't know I felt awkward a lot because everyone was so girly it was like I don't know I don't know I don't even know how to explain it I just felt out of place and everyone was really nice, too. I just felt out of place. It just didn't feel right. Like, being surrounded by so many, like, women all the time. I have a Rocky here. Oh, Rocky. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I just felt so weird. I just felt like a big fake being surrounded by them all the time. I'm like, eh. And... You know, when it comes to sexuality, I mean, that could almost be a whole other conversation because we're at 10 minutes already. So I think I'm going to have to do another video on that separately. It's a separate topic. Um, but just now, reflecting back on all of it, you know, and I mean, even now, like David and my friend Tyrone, you, you if you, you ask him. I'm still, like, kind of like one of the guys, and I don't know, I just think, you know, now, I don't know, I, it doesn't matter, I'm just me, you know, I am me, and, you know, sometimes I do like to, like, 
Like, there was a whole period in high school when I liked to wear boys' clothes all the time. And sometimes I want to dress more masculine. And sometimes I want to dress more feminine. Um, but inside, like, I, I just... I, I, I'm happy that I don't care what other people think of whatever, if I'm kind of a tomboy or not. That's my deal, and I'm just going to own it. <laughs> so those are like my thoughts and my feelings on gender and my experience with gender, and then I will have to do another video later about sexuality because this video is 11 minutes long. And the dogs want to run around and play, and I can't make them be still any longer. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.